कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर जय गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर यशोदानंदन प्रज जनरंजन यशोदानंदन प्रज जनरंजन यशोदानंदन प्रज जनरंजन यमुना तीर वन यमुना तीर वन यमुना तीर वन जय गौरणिताय गौरणिताय 
नाम संकीर्तन की ग्रंथरा सिद्ध भागवतम की श्रुप्रपात की सामवेद भक्तुंद की सामवेद भक्तुंद की सामवेद भक्तुंद की जय श्री श्री गौर गुरु और गौरांग की ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय नंदगोपकुमराय गोविंदय नमो नम चैप्टर फोर्टी फोर्टी वन फोर्टी वन ओके सो दिस मॉर्निंग वी आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम टेंथ कैंटो वर्स सॉरी चैप्टर फोर्टी वन क्रिस्ट एंड बलराम एंटर मथुरा सो विल बी गोइंग थ्रू ट्वेंटी फोर थ्रू फोर्टी वर्स नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर अंटिल थर्टी नाइन विल बी रीडिंग द ट्रांसलेशन सो इट्स मैंशन द वुमेन ऑफ मथुरा हरिडली असेंबल्ड एंड वेंट फोर टू सी द टू सन्स ऑफ वसुदेव they entered the city on king's road surrounded by their coward boyfriends some of the women my dear king eagerly climbed to the roofs of their houses to see them some of the ladies put their clothes and ornaments on backwards others forgot one to one of their earrings or ankle bells and others applied makeup to one eye but not the other so there is one small purport one line purport the ladies were very eager to see krishna in their haste and excitement they forgot themselves those who were taking their meals abandoned them others went out without finishing their baths and massages women who were sleeping at once rose when they heard of the commotion and mothers breast feeding their infants simply put them aside the lotus eyed lord smiling as he recalled his bold past times captivated the ladies minds with his glances he walked with the gait of a lordly elephant in rut creating a festival for their eyes with his transcendental body which is the source of pleasure for all divine goddesses of fortune the ladies of mathura had repeatedly heard about krishna and thus as soon as they saw him their hearts melted they felt honored that he was sprinkling upon them the nectar of his glances and broad smiles taking him into their hearts through their eyes they embraced him the embodiment of ecstasy and as their bodily hair stood on end o subduer of enemies they forgot their unlimited distress uh, caused by his absence their lotus faces <coughs> blooming with affection the ladies who had climbed to the roofs of the mansions 
rain down showers of flowers upon lord balram and lord krishna brahmana standing along the way honored the two lords with presentations of yogurt unbroken barley corns pots full of water garlands fragrant substances such as sandalwood paste and other items of worship the women of mathura exclaimed oh what severe austerities the gopis must have performed to be able to regularly see krishna and balram who are the greatest source of pleasure for all mankind seeing a washerman approaching who had been dyeing some clothes krishna asked him for the finest laundered garments he had lord krishna said please give suitable garments to the two of us who certainly deserve them if you grant this charity you will undoubtedly receive the greatest benefit thus requested by the supreme lord who is perfectly complete in all respects that arrogant servant of king kamsa uh, sorry king became angry and replied in insulatingly the washerman said you impudent boys you are accustomed to roaming the mountains and forest and at you would dare put on such clothes as these these are the king's possessions you are asking you are asking for fools get out here quickly don't beg like this if you want to stay alive when someone is too bold the king's men arrest him and kill him and take all his property as the washerman thus spoke brazenly the son of devaki became angry and then merely with his fingertips he separated the man's head from his body the washerman's assistants all dropped their bundles of clothes and fled down the road scattering in all directions lord krishna then took the clothes krishna and balram put on pair of garments that especially pleased them and then krishna distributed the remaining clothes among the covered boys leaving some scattered on ground now we'll come to the last verse so we'll <coughs> go with the verse tatau tu vakya pritas tu vakya pritas tayor vasam akalpayan tayor vasam akalpayan vichitra varnaish chelier vichitra varnaish chelier akalper anurupatah आकल्पैर अनुरूपत ततस्तु वायक प्रीत तयोर्वेशम अकल्पया विचित्रवर्ण चैल आकल्पैरूप ततस्तु वाक्य प्रीत तयोर्वेशम अकल्पया विचित्रवर्णशल आकल्पैरूपत
माता जी ततस्तु वाय कयोर्वेशम अकल्प विचित्र वर्णेल कल्पेतूपता ततस्तु वाय कृत तयोर्वेशम अकल्पयाद वेचित्रवेणचल आकल्पैरूपता तथ देन टू मोर ओर वायक अवेव प्रीता एफेक्शनेट तयो फॉर द टू ऑफ दैम वेशम ड्रेस अकल्पये अरेंज विचित्र वेरियस वर्ण विथ कलर्स चेल मेड ऑफ क्लॉथ आकल्पत विथ ऑर्नमेंट्स अनुरूपत सुटेबली translation purport there upon a waver came forward and feeling affection for the lords nicely adorned their attire with cloth ornaments of various colors purport shri jeev go swami explains that the waver adorned the cloth the lords with cloth armlets and earrings that looked just like jewels the word anurupatah indicates that the colors matched Nicely. Om Gyan Timirandasya Gyanan Jana Shalakaya Chakshurun Vitamena Tasmay Sri Guru Ene Maha Si Chaitanya Mano Bistam Saapitame Ena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadanti Kam Vandeham Sri Guru Si Uta Padakamalam Si Guru Vaishnavam Cha Si Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savudhutam Parijana Saitam कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पादान सह गणा ललिता श्री विशाखा च जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत दादर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे so here now what we see krishna has just entered mathura so krishna's vrindavan past time they are called nitya leela so out of vrindavan the krishna's leela what they are called anyone knows what krishna performs his past times in mathura and dwarka what leela they are they are not nitya leela what leela they are called naimittik occasional past times so so many verses are we are going through but i'll just take uh, one uh, this uh, word from the 24 shloka that the women of mathura they were very eager when krishna entered mathura so they were very much eager to see lord krishna and one of lord krishna's qualities that krishna the literal meaning of krishna is that one who attracts everyone irrespective of everything no it is not that only after playing krishna attracts everyone it's not like that so just by his physical presence krishna can attract everyone and anyone so recently we had jagannath past times so after anvastra leela 15 days jagannath gets sick after that there is one leela anyone knows what is that leela called netrosso ha uh, what is the netrosso means Uh, that is uh, utsava means the festival for the <coughs> eyes not for the lord for the devotees in the chaitanya charitamrita this nice verse where it is mentioned that ar dina jagannathera netrosava nama mahotsava haila bhaktera prana sama so it is mentioned that the next day marked the performance of festival of netroso this great festival was the life and soul of the devotees because they get to see the lord from that day onwards even lord chaitanya mahaprabhu 
he used to go to alarnath for 15 days uh, when <coughs> the lord gets sick in this past time and what we see in brindavan past time especially in gokul when krishna was doing his <coughs> kishor and pavagand leela kaumar leela so literally every day the gopis they used to come just to have a look at krishna thereafter when krishna he came to brindavan so that time also <coughs> bhagavatam sukhdev goswami mentions so when krishna is to go for herding the cows in the morning and till the time he came in the evening so literally the gopis they were meditating on krishna and they were anxiously looking when krishna will come in the evening there is one nice verse in the uh, that songs of separation chapter 31 10th canto so <coughs> gopi geet atati yad bhayam ahani kanakam truti yugayate tvam apashyatam kutila kundalam sri mukham chate jad utekshitam prakshama krit dasham so what do the gopis explain when you go off to the forest during the day a tiny fraction of a second becomes like a millennium for us because we cannot see you and even when we eagerly look upon you your beautiful face so lovingly with its adornment adornments of curly locks our pleasure is hindered by our eyelids which was fashioned by foolish brahma the creator of mankind so further there are so many verses in bhagavatam where it is mentioned in the 29th chapter it is mentioned when krishna played on his flute some of the gopis were milking cows when they heard krishna's flute they stopped milking and went off to meet him some left milking sorry milk curdling on the stove and others left cake burning in their oven there are many other verses mentioned how the gopis they left when krishna uh, played his flute now here what we find that similar instance is happening in mathura what we went through all the women whatever activities they were doing they left everything so <coughs> in uh, this bhagavatam there are many past times of lord krishna like when he went to hastinapur then when he went to dwarka mithila so similar instances are reported where we see whereby all the not only women others also they forget all their activities and they rush to see krishna so now all of us know that basically when krishna plays his flute so now anyone knows did krishna carry his flute to mathura so how many they say yes raise hands so great okay because krishna he never carries his flute out of brindavan there are four leelas of krishna they are called madhurya leela madhurya bhakti madhurya venu madhurya and rupa madhurya so here when they heard this this thing sound that commotion from the people yes krishna and balram they are coming so they got attracted so if we see krishna's flute so from krishna's flute uh, anyone knows how many melodies they come they are called raga there are unlimited ragas morning afternoon evening so it is mentioned in the scriptures if you make little mistake in playing some ragas <laughs> there can be a adverse effect so the this eight ragas they are called by first word sa re ga ma pa dha ni sa so now just i'll give in short summary what each meter hmm, explains the first meter is called rag mandhar so it is mentioned that when krishna plays his first meter on the flute so all the demigods especially brahma shiva indra even ananta shesh Uh, they get mesmerized you know what is mesmerized they literally forget themselves so when krishna plays the second meter it is mentioned that the moon stops moving even the clouds they stop moving and when krishna plays the third meter it is mentioned that the yamuna goes the other way round anyone knows what is other way round she starts flowing backwards actually there is one river in maharashtra is called surya nadi one place called palgar so there is one unique river still existing so this river it flows occasionally the other way round rivers so here what we see yamuna and a flows the other way round 
and when Krishna plays his fourth meter, so can anyone guess what happens? So you should know, you are living in Vrindavan. So when Krishna plays the fourth meter, especially the cows and calf, they, the cows they stop grazing or eating the grass, the cows, the especially baby cows, they stop drinking the milk. They just start listening to the melody, pointing their ears. Similarly, all the birds and there are bumblebees, even the other animals, there is a complete silence. We call pin drop silence, like that. So, fifth meter, I think at least all of you know, what is fifth meter? So, fifth meter is played by Krishna when Krishna wants to enact Ras Leela. And this is heard only by the gopis who are qualified to enter the Ras Leela. Not all the gopis. One time, uh, Garg Samita explains, by mistake, Lord Shiva heard. And just hearing that noise, sound, so Lord Shiva came all the way to Vrindavan, where the Ras Leela was being enacted by Krishna. It is Vamshi Vat. There is another Vamshi Vat in Bhandirvan. So that is the fifth meter. It is uh, only exclusively for the gopis who are entitled to enter Krishna's pastimes. So now we go to the sixth meter. So sixth meter, when Krishna plays sixth meter, so Vasantrutu, the best of all seasons. So Krishna explains in Bhagavad Gita 10.35, uh, <coughs> Rutunam Kusumakara. So what is Kusumakara? That season where all the flowers they blossom okay so now when krishna plays the seventh meter all the six seasons they manifest simultaneously there are six seasons uh, <coughs> actually ayurveda mentions our body in 24 hours our body undergoes six seasons and occasionally you'll find especially some countries tropical countries or in antarctica so there you can find two three seasons in a day morning, afternoon, evening, different seasons. So it is mentioned in Krishna's <coughs> manifest pastimes. Uh, in Vrindavan there were different varieties of forest. In one forest it is mentioned that Ritu, Ritu one. There were forests of Ritu one where there is to be a special Ritu season throughout the year. So now there are six seasons. Uh, what are the six seasons? Can anyone tell what are the six seasons in Sanskrit? There are six seasons. Okay. Uh, it begins from Vasant, Grishma, Varsha, Sharad, Shishir and Hemant. So these are the six seasons uh, which are mentioned in the scriptures. And when Krishna plays the eighth meter, can anyone guess what happens? Now I told all the seven. So what happens when Krishna plays this eighth meter? <laughs> so this is exclusively heard by Radharani. It's only for Radharani and it is mentioned that Radharani is being pulled by the flute wherever Radharani is there. There is one place in Vrindavan, I think most of you must have gone. There is one place called Anjanok. Anyone knows Anjanok? When you go to Barsana, it is just four kilometers before Barsana from Chata. So it is mentioned that one time Krishna, he was, uh, just Krishna, he played his flute and Radharani was also, that time she was dressing herself and she had applied mascara to only one eye. So hearing this sound, immediately she left everything and she ran all the way where Krishna was there. And when Krishna, he saw, yes, Radharani has not put <coughs> her mascara in other eye. So if you go there, now also you can, you can find there is one Sheila. This called uh, Anjana Sheila, the Brajwasis they call Anjana Sheila. The, this it is a village of uh, one gopi from the eight principal gopis, Hindu Lekha. So Krishna, he rubbed on that <coughs> Sheila and he applied that mascara on Radharani's other eye. So these are the eight meters hmm, where we see uh, played by Krishna. So <coughs> Rupa Goswami explains in Ubdesh Amrit, like here today, uh, basically, it is mentioned about eagerness, how, how much eager we are. So, the third verse explains, 
उत्साह निश्चय धैर्य तत्त कर्म प्रवर्तना संग त्याग सतोवृत्ति षडभीर भक्ति प्रसिद्ध थी सो आई एल नॉट गो थ्रू एवरीथिंग ही फर्स्ट इज फर्स्ट इज दैट एंथ्यूजियास्टिक मीन्स ईगरनेस एंड ऑल्सो रूप गो स्वामी एक्सप्लेन्स दर इज वन नाइस वर्स इन पद्यावली दिस वर्स इज वर्स नंबर फोर्टीन वेरी नाइस वर्स कृष्ण भक्ति रसभाविता मती क्रियता यदि कुतो भी लभ्यते तत्र लौल्यम अपि मौल्यम एकलम जन्म कोटि सुकृते न लभ्यते सो वॉट रूप गो स्वामी एक्सप्लेन्स दैट प्योर डिवोशनल सर्विस इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस कैन नॉट बी हैड इवन बाय पायस एक्टिविटी इन हंड्रेड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ लाइव्स इट कैन बी अटेंड ओनली बाय पेइंग वन प्राइस दैट इज इंटेंस ग्रीड टू ऑप्टेन इट इफ इट इज अवेलेबल समवेयर वन मस्ट पर पिचेज इट विदाउट डिले एंड टूडेज वर्ल्ड वॉट डू यू फाइंड पीपल पेइंग एनी कॉस्ट स्पेशली फॉर आई फोन पीपल आर माई मैड दे पे एनी अमाउंट ऑफ मनी this all madness in the material world but for a devotee they are ready to pay any price so you see there are certain communities in the market so when the season begins especially mango season in india when mango season begins it begins with 5000 rupees a dozen now you can find maybe 50 rupees kilo okay it differs from place to place so here what we see intense desire to see lord krishna uh, there are a good number of past times we'll just mention one or two past times uh, one story all of you know about leela shuk who is leela shuk uh, one of our acharya is called leela shuk bilu mangal thakur so bilu mangal thakur uh, actually he was a big landlord's son one time he was doing his father's uh, that uh, shraddh ceremony and he was in a desperate mood to go to meet the woman especially there was one prostitute by name uh, chintamani so he used to cross the river and he used to meet her so he was in desperation and the evening was setting and it was getting twilight it was about to get dark so and it was heavily raining and what happened he saw there is no boatman and it is mentioned that he climbed on a dead body and he crossed the river and he went to the house of chintamani so it was too late by then and she had blocked the house from inside and she was staying maybe on the first floor so there also in desperation he was looking how to go upwards so there was a snake hanging so he caught that snake thinking to be a rope and by the time he went inside he was completely he was bruised and seeing his physical condition chintamani she got shocked what she said if at all you had this same eagerness to see lord krishna so it is mentioned uh, that this was a u turn in the life of bilu mangal thakur later on know, all of you know what happened in his life so <clears throat> there is a similar past time in uh, <clears throat> sri sampradaya so it is a, there is a one past time mentioned there there was one disciple of ramanujacharya so his name was dhanurdas so dhanurdas he had a one, one beautiful wife and her specially eyes were so beautiful in material world even in today's world also so people they like the blue eyes i don't know which country people have but whatever it is so <laughs> this dhanurdas wife she had a very beautiful eyes in a material sense so one day what happened the lords rangnath palki was going you and ramanujacharya was escorting the palki all the devotees they were following and this dhanurdas he was holding a big umbrella shading the sun and he was gazing at his wife and he was not looking at this palki and other things sometimes we get lost you know so he was so much lost looking at his wife so when ramanujar he saw he told one of his disciple go and tell that fool come and meet me <laughs> so later on somebody told okay i'll hold the umbrella for your wife why don't you go and meet <laughs> ramanujacharya he said okay he complied so by the time he came to meet mad <laughs> ramanujacharya ramacharya was near the deity of rangnath and that time the pujari was doing the aarti he was offering the camphor lamp and 
and Ramanujara, he told him, okay, no, look at the Lord. So it is mentioned that when Dhanurdhar, he saw the beauty of the Lord's eyes, so he completely forgot his wife and he asked forgiveness to his spiritual master. So <coughs> what here we see, especially the women of this Mathura, uh, they got so much attracted just by hearing that Krishna has come. So they left everything and they went to see Lord Krishna. And also sometimes we enact one drama called Daku Bhagat. This is one nice pastime how we get attracted just by hearing to Krishna's pastime. So one time there was one dacoit. So he didn't have much time. And, sorry, he used to do a robbery in the night time. So one time there was a Bhagavad Katha going late evening. And that Bhagavad Kathakar, he was mentioning about Lord, Lord Krishna's Vrindavan pastimes. And that day he was explaining very meticulously how Krishna puts on different garments, especially ornaments. And he was explaining about different, especially ornaments and how costly they are, especially the jewels. And when this <coughs> thief, this record he was hearing, he was taking uh, the note. And he was calculating, uh, if I rob this Krishna, so many generations of my family, they need not to uh, go for here and there robbing people. So after the Bhagavatam was over, all the people went off. So this dacoit, he came to this <coughs> Bhagavad car and he said, whatever you mentioned is, is really it is true. So this fellow got little fearful seeing this dacoit. He said, yes, if you go to Vrindavan, you will find Krishna. So he was very desperate and he was eager. So he took the way path to Vrindavan. And one day he arrived in Vrindavan. And what happened? He was roaming in one of the one of the forests, and Krishna is seated in everyone's heart. Krishna knows. So what happened? He was hiding in a bush and he saw he happened to see Krishna. And he saw his list and he was completely bewildered. Whatever was mentioned, everything was there according to the list. So now, what he was thinking, I can't rob. There are so many coward boys around. There will be a big cow, cow. The situation will be very chaotic. The children will, they will, uh, in fear of seeing me, they will run away. So Krishna, he knew that yes, this fellow has come. So Krishna took a chance and he just deviated from the coward boys and he came to the place. With, where this dacoit was hiding and suddenly he encountered but seeing Krishna he just started glorifying Krishna he said so you have so many ornaments why don't you give me one or two but <coughs> Krishna what he said no 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 my mother has a list when I go back home she will just, just she will check everything if something she will give me a nice slap so I can't give you anything so best why don't you come to my house and you can ask my mother, maybe she will relent, she will give you. So seeing this Krishna's magnanimity, so somehow he forgot everything. So later on what happened, because just he saw Krishna, he forgot that he was a robber. And also he left this job of robbing the people. So Bhagavatam, there are many instances wherein we hear uh, how devotees they get attracted. Narad Muni, he explains to Vasudev in the first canto, sixth six chapter. He explains that, I desire to see again the transcendental form of the Lord. But despite my attempts to concentrate upon the heart uh, with art, with eagerness, to view the form again, I could not see him anymore. And thus dissatisfied, I was very much aggrieved. So what he explains that, <coughs> Narad Muni, when he went to the forest, Himalayas, the first time the Lord gave him his darshan. And later on the Lord said, okay, now you need not to meditate again because you will not get to see this form again. Also in third canto, there is mention, Krishna's pastimes out of Vrindavan, it is mentioned that there in the house of the demon, all the princess is kidnapped by Narkasura at once became alert upon seeing the Lord, the friend of the distressed. They looked upon him with eagerness, joy and shyness and offered to be his wives. 
Later on, Krishna, he married them, the 16,108 princesses. So then, again, this one <coughs> narration about the four Kumaras entering Vaikuntha in the third canto, it is mentioned that when the four Kumaras, uh, although by far the fittest persons, were thus forbidden entrance by the two chief doorkeepers of Hari, while their divinities looked upon, their eyes suddenly turned red because of anger, due to their great eagerness. Now here what we see, they came with an eagerness to see the Lord, but they were forbidden. So it is mentioned that with great eagerness to see their most beloved Lord, Sri Hari. So here they became angry. Further what we see, they curse Jay and Vijay. And also it is mentioned that uh, when Lord Shiva, he heard about the Mohini Murti. So Lord Shiva was so eager, he wanted to see the Mohini Murti form of the Lord. And Lord Shiva, he went all the way to Vaikuntha and there he <laughs> petitioned Lord Vishnu, I want to have a look at that form. So what Lord Shiva mentions, my Lord, I have come here desiring to see that form of your Lordship with which you shower, showed to the demons to captivate them completely. Uh, in this way, enable the demigods to drink nectar. Uh, I am very eager to see that form. Lord Shiva explains that he is very much eager to see that form. So Prabhupada, in one of the purports, he writes, by serving the servants of the Lord, one gradually gets the quality of servants. And thus one becomes qualified to hear glories of God. The eagerness to hear about God is the first qualification of a devotee eligible for entering the kingdom of God. So here, Prabhupada basically ex explains that when we take the association of devotees and when we hear in the company of devotees, then we get the opportunity to see the Lord. And in Bhagavatam, there are two similar verses wherein we find that the, the eagerness, like here we mentioned about the ocean churning pastime, Samudra Manthan Leela, the demons they were very much eager for, in the first instance they were eager for nectar. But when Mohini Murti manifested, she was, <laughs> sorry, they were eager to see her, they forgot the nectar. <laughs> there is one nice verse <clears throat> before, <clears throat> before saying, Mo, saying Mohini Murti, what was their understanding? So the verse mentions, Mita Kaler Abhut Tesham Tad Arthe Tarsa Teshatam Aham Puram Aham Puram Natvam Natvam Iti Prabhu. What they said, so Sukhdev Goswami mentions, O King, a quarrel arose among the demons over who would get the nectar first. Each one, each one of them said, you cannot drink it first. I must drink it first. Huh? <coughs> Me, myself first, not you. So here there was a competition. But when they saw Mohini Murti, they forgot everything. So their eagerness was completely diverted to see Mohini Murti. But in the Bhagavatam again, in Agasur Leela, similar verse, second part of the verse, Yadi Dura Gatha Krishna Vana Shobekshana Yamtam Aham Puram Aham Puram Iti Samsvarshare Mire. So here Sukhdev Goswami explains that sometimes Krishna would go to somewhat distant place to see beauty of the forest. Then all the other boys would run to accompany him. Each one saying, I shall be the first to run and touch Krishna. I shall touch Krishna first. In this way they enjoyed uh, by repeatedly touching Krishna. So here uh, they used to find interest, they used to be eager to touch Krishna. So Prabhupada explains that uh, stressed, we should be eager in whatever service we do. See, in one of Prabhupada's lecture, what Prabhupada explains, uh, whatever services we are doing, if we are doing with eagerness, either it is hearing, chanting, listening, book distribution, preaching, uh, worshipping, or even cooking, uh, or even cleaning, if we do with re eagerness, the Lord will re reciprocate. As I told you in the uh, <coughs> Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explains fourth chapter, uh, And what we see in Vrindavan pastimes, especially in Vrindavan pastimes, so all the demons, they came with one intention from Putna 
Anyone knows what was the, who was the last demon killed by Krishna before leaving for Mathura? Who was the last demon? Everyone knows first demon. Hmm? Who was the last demon Krishna killed? Yomasur. Hmm? Okay. So, all these demons, there was only one intention was just to kill Krishna. Hmm? They came in one eagerness just to kill Krishna. Hmm? So, Krishna reciprocated according to de their desire. But what we see, the Brajavasis, what was their desire? Uh, just to serve Krishna in all, in all situations of life. In happiness or even, even in distress. What we see, whenever the Brajavasis, they used to be in distress, they remembered Krishna. They didn't remember anyone else. So this was their intensity and they were so much eager uh, to serve Krishna. So <coughs> Krishna, he reciprocated with Brajavasis in the five rasas, Shantras, Dasiras, Sakiras, Vasilras, Madhuras. So what we see is the similar pastimes in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes. And what we see that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was doing his pastimes, he used to go different places. And oftentimes there used to be good number of lakhs of devotees, they used to come and they used to gather. There is one pastime where it is mentioned that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he stayed at the place of Nandana Acharya. And the crowd was so intense, they were so desperate to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They repeatedly, they were begging Nandana Acharya, why don't you give us one, one glimpse? So somehow he was telling, no, Ch Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has left this place. But they couldn't believe. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he took sannyas, so that time he was so, he was so eager, so he immediately he wanted to go to Vrindavan, Mana Mora Vrindavan. That time uh, he was <coughs> in a such a desperate mood, he wanted to go to Vrindavan. So somehow Nityanand Prabhu, he debated him and he brought him all the way to Shantipur. And later on Sachi Mata, she said, no, you can't go to Vrindavan, Vrindavan is too far. So why don't you stay at Jagannath Puri, because Jagannath Puri is near. And people keep coming and going, so I'll come to know about uh, how you are doing. So, just to reciprocate with his mother, what we see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said, stayed in Jagannath Puri. And there his pastimes, they are called Vipram, Vipralambali. Vipralamba means eager, intense. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, every day, he is to witness all the Vrindavan pastimes of Lord Krishna. But despite all this, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was eager to come to Vrindavan. It is mentioned that uh, <coughs> in the beginning, somehow Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he restrained. Every time the devotees they used to somehow they used to say, wait for some time, wait for some time. So ultimately Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, okay, now no more waiting, I will go. After Dol Yatra, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he came all the way walking from Jhari Khand to <coughs> Vrindavan. And the moment he entered Vrindavan, just actually Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he saw a peacock. It is mentioned, Mayurera Kanta Dekhi. And he, when he saw the throat, the neck of peacock, he completely, he got unconscious. He remembered Lord Krishna. So that was the intensity of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in Jagannath Puri, so often time he restrained from going near because he knew he will get unconscious. So often time he used to stand at Garud Stamba. All of you know in Jagannath Puri. So in the temple there are different mandap. There is one bhog mandap behind that. There is a Garud Stamba where Garudji is sitting. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to stand there. Even that condition also sometimes used to get intense. Uh, some devotees, they mention that there is a one thumb impression in that Garud's thumb, uh, which is of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So one time what happened, there was one lady, old lady, she was also eager. Somehow in the crowd, she couldn't see Jagannath. And she was so intense, so she was looking for <coughs> a place, like sometimes we see the children, they climb this column, they want to have a good look. So, this lady in mad desperation, she climbed the shoulder of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's servant, 
Govinda, he got completely mesmerized. Now, he didn't know what to do. He started chastising that woman. So, some of these women, she came down. So, later on, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, hmm, you Adi Vasi. Hmm. So, he just chastised him. He gave a very hard word. All of you know, in India, what is meant by Adi Vasi? Adi Vasi means uncultured. Especially in India, if one does something wrong, <coughs> sometimes people they call hmm, Adi Vasi. So, <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, uh, I don't have that much intensity. Ainanda Tanuja Kinkaram. So, here, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also, he, although he was trying to go near the altar, but that high intensity was there. Also, in gopis, what we see, there is one viraha agni. Uh, viraha agni means that fire of separation to see Lord Krishna. In Bhagavad Gita also, what we see in the 11th chapter, when Arjuna, he saw Lord Krishna's universal power, <coughs> this form, somehow Arjuna was not content. So Arjuna later on, he told Krishna, yes, uh, <coughs> I don't want to see this form. Later on, Krishna changed into his normal two-handed form. And later on, Krishna explained that, Bhaktya to Ananya Shakya. <coughs> so Krishna explains, my dear Arjuna, only by undivided devotional service can I be understood as I am standing before you and can thus be seen directly. Only in this way you can enter into the mysteries of my understanding. So here we have to have that intense taste. So Chaitanya Charitamrit mentions Nama Gane Sada Ruchi Laya Krishna Nam. So if we have Nama Gane Sada Ruchi it is not that after 16 rounds, just keep the mala and next day you want to recall where did I keep my mala. <laughs> I remember uh, sometimes we have yatra and a good number of devotees, they join the yatra and in lost and found department, they have 10 to 15 malas, you know. And fortunately, unfortunately, they don't write their number. And when they announce, Nobody claims because then you, you become shy, you, know? you become a culprit, yes. So, in the Yatra, on an average, we collect 40 to 50 in a week. This especially bead bags, forgotten here and there. So, but if we have that intensity, Nama Gane Sada Ruchi, then only Laya Krishna Nam, then only Krishna can manifest in our heart. So, we have to practice. So, Prabhupada has given us the, the first regulatory principle is that to chant 16 rounds regularly. So, in that way we can develop the eagerness of seeing Krishna and it is not so easy to see Lord Krishna because at this stage we are not qualified. So, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati used to often say that don't try to see the Lord but serve in such a way that the Lord will come and see you. There is one real life story in America, there are a good number of multinational companies. There was one big company and one time the owner, he was going through all the records of the employees. And he saw there was one employee for about 25 years, that employee was so regular in his job. No sick leave, uh, no complaints against him. So he was completely and I taken back and he told the manager, yes, I want to see this person in, in person. <laughs> so all the way he went to the workshop where this person was working and he gave him a, a big hug. He said, yes, I am proud that I have a person like you. <laughs> so similarly, uh, it is mentioned that yes, <laughs> whatever service we do <laughs> as per the <laughs> service assigned and if we do in that, that spirit, so Krishna will, he will reciprocate according to our bhav, our intensity. So there are a good number of devotees, they regularly visit Vrindavan and a good number of devotees, they have uh, this thing, they have a understanding of reciprocation. So I'll end with one pastime. One devotee, he was visiting Vrindavan maybe 15 years back. So recently he was telling me, Prabhuji, I had the real reciprocation of my life in Vrindavan. So I said, yes, what happened? So he said, one time I was visiting Krishna Balram temple. I was sitting in the Kirtan. 
and I was gazing at Krishna Balram and I was intensely gazing at them. So suddenly what I saw that one finger of Krishna, like among the five finger, all of you know in India, the children, they have different body language, okay? So this finger, all of you know. So what happened? He saw once through that Krishna's fing one finger looking like this. So again he saw second time. So now this time he got mesmerized, what to do? So third time he couldn't withstand, so he came near the altar. So then he intensely started looking at the deities. Then a pujari came, somehow Krishna reciprocated. So he put one garland and he gave him some prasad. So he said, Prabhu, I am now completely charged. <laughs> so this way, <coughs> here what we see, although the women of Mathura, this is their first opportunity to see Krishna coming to Mathura and also they are glorifying the gopis of Vrindavan. So we should keep this intensity of going that one day we will get the opportunity to uh, go and meet Krishna, Hare Krishna. So anyone has any comment, question? We have just one minute left about the intensity. Ha, yes. Hena kena prakarena Krishna mana, mana Krishna neva say it. Take, take the mic. So I, I mentioned whatever I could, maybe you can hear again. Whatever I could, I told in the class, whatever I could with the different pastimes. So it differs person to person, how much we are consciously doing our, <coughs> our sadhana. Yes. Uh, Hare Krishna. So Grantra Simad Bhagavatam ki, Shlupa Rupat ki, Hare Krishna.